Joining us now in studio is our senior correspondent, Bianca Zanini. Bianca, thank you for joining. You put together this report. Uh, uh, well, uh, yes, the report on the, the report. Story about the report. Let's yes. dive into the numbers and the details of this report. Right. So there are a few really important takeaways that I want to get to. But first, the numbers are quite shocking. I mean, we knew for a while the the situation uh, worldwide on anti-Semitism was going the wrong direction. So it's not news per se, but this report looks at the last year and there is absolutely no doubt that the amount of, that the amount that anti-Semitism has been rising after October 7th and from the beginning of the Gaza war, that it's just been an enormously, the, the, the growth has been enormous the wrong direction. So the U.S. saw a 103% increase in incidents, anti-Semitic incidents. Um, that was almost 8,000. And most of these happened after October 7th right. around the country. In France also, we have, uh, we're seeing a near quadrupling of cases. That's almost uh, 1,700 cases last year. And 75% of those happened uh, in the two last months of the year, two and a half last months of the year after October 7th. Now, still, this was before these protests that we're seeing now sweeping across the Western world, um, uh, taking over universities, right? Many of them are uh, have a sentiment that is, uh, the purpose is to end the war, right? It's, a, it's about empathy to, uh, to the civilians and the people suffering. The thing is that in, within all of this, there's so much um, mushed together that uh, the anti-Semitism that exists there is starting to f bubble up more and more and more. We're seeing it, it's becoming more and more normalized. We're seeing calls for uh, from the river to the sea, whether or not uh, the students calling for that understand what that it what it means. It, it, at the end of the day, it's still uh, anti-Semitism. What we're what they're trying to do is saying that there's a, d a difference between criticizing the state of Israel and the actions of the state of Israel and um, being an anti-Semite. Uh, anti it's not the same thing. And it's true. That is correct. In theory, you should be able to criticize the Israeli government. You should be able to criticize the Israeli uh, government's actions in Gaza and call for peace. But that's not what's happening. It's not just that. It's being uh, mixed thoroughly and unfortunately with anti-Semitic uh, speech and sentiment. It's growing. We're seeing now responses from authorities around the world. Uh, the U.S. House of Representatives has just have, uh, has just voted uh, on a bill, passed a bill um, that. Uh, expands the definition of what anti-Semitism is. It's now going to the Senate. That is in direct response to a worry, a growing worry, that uh, anti-Semitism sentiment and anti-Israeli sentiment is spreading at these um, universities.